Welcome to Tech Trek, and I am Robert Moon, your host. Wait, 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 wait. This is this is my show. Dude, yeah. I'm 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 the new guy. You're the new guy? Excellent. Where's On? On I don't know. He, I guess he graduated, so he's On graduated. Off. So I am taking his place and I'm joining team with Russell and Caleb. Excellent. I see you brought some toilet paper and um, uh, pot holder. So we must be in the physical computing lab at NYU, the ITP department. In fact, behind us is Danny Rosen's latest project. Maybe we're not even supposed to talk about that. I wonder if it's public. I don't know. It's just this new project that he's working on. He's pretty famous for doing these mirrors. Yeah, that's going to be a mirror behind us. So. And uh, we got other projects here around us, so we thought this was an interesting place to do, uh, I guess, the summer episodes, right? Right. This is Tech Trek summer episodes. We were lucky enough to have the department um, hire us to interview people for the spring 2007 show that we do here. We had 140 projects and we got 78 interviews. So we're going to play three of them now in assistive technology, which is what? I guess uh, technologies to help um, the handicap in uh, nursing homes, uh, physical disabilities, using technology to help uh, assist them, right? And, and it even assist us too. So uh, a lot of ergonomics go into it, and um, I guess how we work with technology. Exactly. All right, I'm going to get back to some little light reading here. My name is Young Hyun Jung, and my project name is Camera 4K. This is an adaptive camera for the disabled people. I um, made this project as simple as possible so that every other people can make the same system. So all parts are purchasable on the internet. And, and I use this bendable tripod so I can attach every mount and every wheelchair. And I also use different type of uh, switches. I put that food switch so that kids can use food to operate the camera and um, for someone who cannot move their hands uh, with power then I put this very very light switch so they can press very slightly and then take pictures. I have a website so riskand.com camera 4k is a uh, digit 4. I'm Roy and I'm Mark Okay, and tell me about your project. <laughs> we we worked with Professor on a uh, on an adaptive video camera for a young man named Ali uh, up at Seton Pediatric Center. Um, it's a it's a cradle mounted camera for a motorized wheelchair, not much like this one, but it comes over the back of Ali's shoulder. And uh, Roy can explain the uh, the technical stuff for you. Um, essentially, there are touch sensors in here. And um, we throw this in Ali's backpack. And Ali has very limited motor skills. So we have this remote control here. And when he touches one of the four wires there, it triggers an event on the camera. For example, record, start, stop, photo, zoom in, and zoom out. Hi, my name is Polly Barden, and this is my project in bags is an assistive technology project. It allows students who use motorized wheelchairs to organize and be able to indicate what stuff they want and be able to track who's accessing their stuff. So it's a way for them to see behind what's going on behind themselves in their backpacks. And you can find out more at pabadesigns.com, pabadesigns.com.